the year gets underway, and chances are you're not going to spend a lot more than you planned. But hold on to that checkbook. Tonight, consumer investigator Becky Thompson shows us how we can save at the supermarket by knowing store strategy. David, you know, every time you walk into the supermarket, there's about 20,000 items trying to grab your attention. The best way to avoid that temptation is to have a list and stick to it. You walk in for food and suddenly you're led on a journey of temptation, being carefully directed as you shop the aisle. Much like this mouse, working its way through a very carefully planned maze. Only this maze is created to help you buy what you need, and often what you don't. Two out of every three purchases that we make in a supermarket are not planned. We as consumers aren't going out there with grocery lists as we had in the past. So the displays or the layout of the stores are very critical. And so are the sights and smells. They appeal to your senses as soon as you walk in the door with colorful fresh fruits and vegetables. Grocers tend to make more money from produce, and so if you're buying that first, you may be buying a little bit more um, of it. Even a scrumptious deli counter with assorted salads and piping hot food to go. We usually come in for something else. And the aroma of fresh bakery leads you right to the counter. When the customers see and smell that, that quality, they absolutely pick it up and buy it. Even the sounds can entice you to buy more. Supermarkets try to pay, play a very slow paced music because they finally walk to the beat of the music. And so the slower you walk, the longer you're actually in the store. And watch those products that catch your attention at eye level. This is prime spot in the grocery store and where you're likely to find more expensive or more impulse-driven purchases. The same holds true of the portable displays that dot the perimeter aisles. Always remember to shop around within the store. Here in the dairy case, this half-pound package of feta cheese sells for $2.89. Here in the cheese display across from the deli counter, a half-pound package of feta cheese by the same manufacturer sells for $2.80. And right-handers, watch when you reach. Higher profit store brands and larger packages of identical brands are often put to the right so that you grab them first. You've noticed the pattern, right? Yes. The larger size is always to the person right. right here. You've heard it a hundred times before, but do, do stick to this rule. Do not come to the store hungry. While this may not tempt you, this probably will. Reporting live, Rebecca Thompson, Channel.